so we're up to the labyrinth, running all the way. And we had a bit of a tough time finding where we were supposed to go. We're still not sure that we're going in the right direction. But we're hoping so. Um, we're going to meet up with uh, my cousin Katie and then Steve and hopefully Josh. We'll see, Josh said he might be able to make it. So. Hopefully this doesn't turn out like yesterday. We're going to find out. So this is our first victory, hopefully in a long line of many. We have actually found the maze. Hold on, let me back up so we can get a lovely shot of the hedges that we're gonna get lost in in a few minutes. This is in fact a hedge maze. It is in fact Wednesday and it is currently free. And we're gonna go get proceed to get lost, uh, which really means I'm gonna leave Nick in Barcelona in a maze and hope that he finds his way back. Anywho. What? I don't think so. All right, wish us luck. <laughs> Smile, you're on camera. So is this actually a maze? Or yes. Like, do it, we know no, it's actually a maze. So we'll get lost most likely. Yes. Okay. Which really means, bye. Okay. Well <laughs> Hi! Are you guys really trying to lose me? They're jerks. They're actually trying to lose me in a maze. I was kidding. Anyhow, for the most part, we'll see how this goes. I found them! And I believe the end of the maze. We have found the end. We actually completed something that we wanted to do with our day. That's impressive. I'm really surprised, actually. Not to lie. Anyhow, uh, on to the next thing. You will never guess who we found. It's Steve! <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Ah, oh, that's Steve. Look at him hide the face of shame. Okay, okay, okay. Face of shame. Let's see if Nick can get up. Does he have upper body strength? Mm -hmm. He's got it. <sighs> Ta-da! So we just finished up the labyrinth um, and hanging out with my cousin Katie. So now we're about to head over back to the hostel, uh, get changed, we're going to go try and find the stuff we couldn't find yesterday, and it should be a good day. to set out to go to the Jewish synagogue that we tried to see yesterday. 
and to see El Templo de Agas and hopefully we'll get to see them during daylight hours or while they're open or find them correctly this time. But first, we definitely need food because I don't know about Nick, but I'm starving. All right, let's go. Anywho, so we found the Jewish synagogue and we are getting ready to take a tour right now. It's uh, 250 in euros, whatever that translates to. Um, I'm not sure how to say I'd say two dollars and fifty cents, but I guess two dollars and fifty cents. Yep. Anyhow, um, it's going to be a fun time, hopefully, and it's cooler down there than it is outside, so it'd be nice to not be in the heat. All right, let's go have some fun. noises subsided. Uh, we just got done inside the synagogue and it was well worth the uh, almost three euros that we paid. They give you a full explanation of the history behind the building and a whole lot more and it's actually got some really cool stuff in there. It's worth checking out. I definitely suggest it. It is rather hard to find though. Uh, you literally have to just look for a stone doorway and hope that you find it. Apparently there is, however, a sign on the outside of the building that we must have missed yesterday, because I don't remember seeing it. I think They must have taken it down. But uh, it is definitely worth checking out. We're probably gonna grab some food and then go on to the next place. So we found out we can't go into the catacombs, which is some crap. So that kind of makes part of this day a bust. But we're gonna go to the Temple of August, and we're gonna have a good time there. All right. So we just got to the Temple de August. Um, should be free to go check out. So luckily that will. So that should be fun to check out. <laughs> Besides Matt's giant nose. Hey, nobody wants it. Nobody wants the nose. Everybody wants the nose. Nobody it's wants better the than nose. the bee. Nobody wants the nose. Anyway, see ya. So something that I noticed that I'm not sure if Nick has noticed yet, we've actually been doing a free tour of all of the Roman sites within the city. Uh, it's it's sponsored by M U H B A. I'm not how, sure how to pronounce that, but you can find these maps and uh, these little it's like a copper sign. Um, all over the place and you can go through all of the ancient Roman parts of the city that way and you can do a free tour where you go around and you read the plaques yourself and you get to see the sites. It can be a little confusing like this one is particularly hard to find and a couple of the other ones are a little bit difficult to find um, or you can pay about 20 euro and have a guided tour and that also happens to have multiple languages just in case you need to have it in something other than English. But anyhow, uh, it's definitely worth checking out. It's something that's free. It gets you to walk around the city a lot. And a lot of the architecture and just the history behind the things, even if you're only reading the plaque, are way, way worth it. Um, so, yeah. Let's get ready to move on to the next thing. So me and 
Matt just bought a dollar or 140 euro bottle of wine, and we're about to see how that tastes. Let us observe. Look at it, it's lovely, it's beautiful. All right, Matt, so do the honors. Switch around a little bit. How are we? You know what's surprising is it's not terrible. Not terrible, huh? But we also have the lovely uh, microwave chicken. Yeah, look at it. Oh, it's tasty glory. This actually looks a lot better than what it looks like in real life. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty bad because it doesn't look very good in real life. How is it, Matt? Kind of soggy. Where was that enthusiasm during karaoke? That's what I want to know. Where was it? He's the reason we failed. What? All right, and with this, we're saying goodnight for the day. Catch you guys later. Bye.